Good evening, everyone. Susan Campfield here with SueStampfield.com. How are you? Uh, happy Saturday. It is almost Halloween. Tomorrow is Halloween. I hope you're, uh, maybe you're already in a sugar coma. <laughs> maybe that's coming tomorrow. Hope you're having a great weekend. It was absolutely beautiful today here in Minnesota. I'm probably not going to be so beautiful tomorrow, but not terrible. So it'll be fine. Um, tonight, we're going to make a faker shaker card. And I'm going to flip over here to comments. Uh, so again, Susan Campfield with SueStampfield.com. If you're watching me on my YouTube channel, drop me a message. Uh, play same on uh, Facebook, either in my Sue Stampfield Facebook group or on my Susan Campfield Independent Demonstrator Facebook page. Hello, everyone. So we've got a fun card tonight. Um, this one is another action card. Last time we made the pop-up, um, the pop-up wiper card. And tonight we're going to make um, a shaker card or a faker shaker card. This is a shaker card made easier. So I'm all about easy. Um, so we're going to use the beautiful Peaceful Cabin stamp set. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip over here to my desktop. And here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and... Hmm get started. So I'm going to show you the card that we're making tonight. Um, so this is the card that we're making. I also have another option that I've started that um, is almost done. And so this card, when you shake it, um, you get all this fun uh, snow falling down. And so there is some confetti in here. And then on the inside, uh, right now, I just have um, May You Enjoy the Peace of This Beautiful Season. So we're going to go ahead and make this card. I think you'll be surprised how quick and easy um, this is. And uh, let's go. Beautiful day in British Columbia. Awesome. Yes. Our days are numbered here. I'm sure there too, you guys are going to be facing some cold weather. So I'm going to start with the actual shaker portion. And I'm going to... Um, walk you through how to do that. So in our catalog, our annual catalog, we have some clear envelopes or translucent, uh, transparent envelopes. Uh, let me grab that. I'm, gra I'm gonna show them to you because they are a little hard to see because they are clear envelopes. Hmm. And because they're clear, they are <laughs> kind of invisible. Can you see them? They're right there, right behind the vanilla and white envelopes. Just make out the, the shadow of them. And they are called the clear envelopes. You get 50 in a pack for $6. So very reasonable price. And then I have a piece of the beautiful grab the package here. Um, it's the Peaceful Place paper. I have used a lot of this. I'm getting down. I had two packs. Uh, well, I had more than that. <laughs> I'm getting down to the bare nub in here. But the one that I'm using for this card, and I've done one with another card too, and I have a couple other samples to show you here um, after we make our card. So hang around for that. Uh, but this one has the trees embossed in silver. And this paper is made, you might wonder why those are upside down. It's made to be cut in half and then cut into card bases. So you can get six card bases out of this 12 by 12 sheet. Obviously I'm cutting that down. So let's go over the measurements here. This piece is a five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna take this clear envelope and I'm gonna slide my designer paper that's four by five and a quarter into this clear envelope. Now the envelope is bigger than the paper as it should be because it's made for a regular card. So I'm gonna slide my paper, I'm gonna butt it all the way to the edge here and push it all the way to the bottom, which is gonna leave me a, a little bit of excess envelope there. And we're gonna take care of that. So I'm going to peel off, oh, no, I'm not. Stop. This is where, like, I should have a big post-it note right now where I say, stop. Before I seal this up, what do I need to add to my envelope to make my shaker card? I need to add something to shake, right? So I am adding, oh, Patricia, you just got this paper. This paper was on back order for a long time and it's back in stock. And there are so many patterns in this pack that would be beautiful with this card. This is, these are the subtle shimmer sequins right here, and they are part of the suite. And so I'm going to take some of those, these things are trying to fall over here on my side, sorry. I'm going to take, a, a, I don't know, a chunk of these, 
and sprinkle them in. Now you can add more or less. It's really up to you. That was kind of a little three finger grab. I'm going to grab a few more. Oh, I'm making a mess, you guys. Oh my goodness. Look, I have a little party here. Woohoo! <laughs> Confetti everywhere. Goodness. All right. I'll just sweep those right back into the container. So there, I feel like that's enough to shake and a decent amount. You could get, oh, easily, gosh, it depends how much you put in. You could get six to 10 cards out of this, uh, out of one package of these, depending again, how many sequins you add for the shaking part. So I'm going to go ahead. Now I can seal it. Now I've got my shaker bits in there, as Jean said, shaker bits. And I'm going to peel off the backing. Hi, Sharon. And I, at least it's not glitter. This is a true story. It is just a bunch of sequins. So they're easy to pick up. So I'm going to fold this flap down. Now, this is made uh, to, to go here, but I don't want this half inch uh, left over. I want to fold it so that it is flush with the top of my paper that's in there. And I'll even take my bone folder and just kind of crease that so that it's a tight so it's now tight on the bottom and tight on the top, but I still have this excess envelope over here. No worries, we're gonna deal with that right now. We're gonna fold that up and we're gonna adhere that down with some tear and tape. And my tear and tape has run amok. Seriously, you guys, I just had it before I went, before I hit the live button. <laughs> Do you ever lose anything on your stamp desk? Because it's pretty much an everyday occasion around here. All right. You know what? I've got more in the drawer. So, ha! Take that, tear and tape. Get another roll out, and then it will show up, right? That's always how it works. So, I'm going to uh, take my tear and tape. I'm going to fold this. Can you see how much we have excess we have there? I'm going to fold that down so that my designer series paper is tightly sealed with not a lot of excess edges. If I'd left that, it would have been too big for my card and also my sequins would have went over to the side. I wanna keep them contained in the paper area. So I have this tear and tape that's not only holding down that flap, it's also going to help me attach this to my card. So I'm gonna go ahead and add more tear and tape while I'm at it here. So I'm at a strip over here. This is probably one of the easiest adhesives we have to use. It's just tape, right? It's so easy. And you don't even need scissors. You just tear it. <laughs> and a piece down there. All right. So I now have tear and tape all around the perimeter of the card. And we can go ahead and put it on our card. So this is, oh, there's my, my little plastic piece. So this is actually thick, um, basic white. You could use thick, you could use regular. I don't know that it really matters because, um, this is going to add some heft to it anyway, but I did grab the thick for this one. So uh, probably the most challenging thing about this card, for me at least, is to get the backing off because all of my nails broke <laughs> off. So I'm going to use my take your pick tool to give me a little help in getting that backing off. All right, one more here. Have you picked up some candy? Do you get tr trick-or-treaters at your house? We have a, I bought like 10 bags and we'll probably get five kids. So guess who's going to be eating all of the candy that's left? Of course, I got all our favorites because, you know, except for Butterfingers. I couldn't find Butterfingers, which is my husband's favorite. Probably better that I didn't find that. He likes a lot of the other ones I got anyway. All right, so there we have our uh shaker is attached to our card seriously you guys that could be a gorgeous christmas card right there i mean you, you wouldn't have to do anything else it, it's beautiful right but we are going to do something else we're going to do a little stamping so i have here a piece of cardstock that is basic white and it's three by four and i'm going to take my cabin from this set and I'm going to grab the basic gray ink pad. Take a quick peek here at the stamp set we're using. So this is the Peaceful Cabin. What I like about this is this fine art um, detailing. And there's shading in there. And if you can see how gorgeous that is. No coloring required. <laughs> That's such a beautiful thing, right? I mean, I do love to color, but 
you're going to do a lot of Christmas cards, probably not something you want to do a lot of. So I'm inking up my cabin in the basic gray and I want to stamp it towards the top of this paper. I guess I could have gone over to the left a little bit. No, I think that's fine. So I've got it stamped near the top of the paper. Now I actually want to go ahead and add a greeting before I do my die cutting here. So for the greeting, I'm actually going to add, this set has some beautiful sayings, but there isn't a Merry Christmas in it. And I wanted a Merry Christmas. So uh, I'm grabbing this gorgeous Heartfelt Wishes stamp set. This has these beautiful scripted uh, words in it, uh, both outside and inside options. I'm actually going to use the Merry Christmas for the outside of this card. But if you can see the font on this one matches up really well with the font on the Peaceful Cabin, because I'm going to use this sentiment for the inside of my card. So let's go ahead. By the way, if you do purchase this stamp set, you can see it is quite long. So um, it does tell you, uh, does it still say it on there? Um, I just wanted to let you know that block I is a good fit for this, this particular set. You need a nice long block for this one. So I'm gonna stamp my Merry Christmas. <clears throat> I'm gonna stamp it all over my desk if I don't put a piece of paper down, aren't I? We don't really wanna do that. All right. No messy desks today. All right, let's put our grid paper down. Now I'm going to stamp it across the bottom. I want to get it pretty low. There we go. So I've got my Merry Christmas there um, for my cabin. And let's close up our ink pad. Well, oh yeah, I already closed it. All right, we'll open it up again. <laughs> I don't always trust myself with an open live inky pad around, especially when I'm dealing with a lot of white on a card. All right, I'm going to do a little shuffling here so that I can bring in our die cutting machine. I cleaned my desk, which meant I shoved everything at the back. <laughs> Is that how you clean too? Because that's how I roll. All right, we've got our dies here. Oh, so many fun dies. Um, this one, you can, if you don't want to stamp the cabin, you can actually die cut a cabin right out of this die. Just don't even have to do any stamping. Um, but I want this die, which is going to not only cut out my cabin, it's also going to cut a snowy slope uh, by my cabin. And I see it's going to cut the, um, they're not really windows, it's going to cut the openings in the porch there. And I see I've got a couple pieces stuck in here from last time. Okay, that looks cleaned out now. And is that the only one I need for this? I think that's the only one I need for this. Okay. The other one, I used another piece in there. All right, let's set that aside. Let's bring in our die cutting machine here. All right. You can take candy corn and make homemade butterfingers. I did not know that. Huh, interesting. I know that people say that if you put peanuts with candy corn, it it tastes like a payday. Uh, uh, no, a uh, tastes like a candy bar. So um, yeah, I suppose you could do other things with it too. I actually like candy corn. Is that really weird? Um, I haven't had any this year though, which is probably a good thing. All right. So I am just lining this up and I've moved it, but that's all right. Cause I'm going to grab a post-it note and we're going to tack this down. So I'm going to shimmy it over again here and I'm just checking to make sure my roof is lined up with the edge of the die and that everything is in place and properly aligned. <clears throat> and then I'm going to turn my whole machine around because I've got the handle on the left and I'm a righty. Any other right handers out there? Of course, the machine is adaptable for either right or left. You just flip it around. All right, my sister's a lefty. All right, set that aside and pull this out all right we've got another candy corn lover out there all right so we're going to pull off this uh post-it note and we now have our cabin cut out a little snow on each side and the openings in the um, porch are now cut out and we're going to add this to our card. And I'm actually going to, uh, now you could do this flat. Uh, keep in mind, you do already have um, a little bit of thickness here because of the dimensionals. But me, I like to double down on that thickness. So I'm actually going to pop it up with dimensionals. That would be optional, though. You could do it flat. Totally your choice. 
but I'm going to put one in each corner here and one up here by the cabin top. I saw on the Weather Channel that there's a good chance of seeing northern lights this weekend, so I might have to go out tonight, go outside in the yard and see if we can see them here in Minnesota. Usually we can't here in the Twin Cities because there's a, it's a big metropolitan area and there's lots of lights, but maybe. All right, so there we have our cabin down in our Merry Christmas. And all we need to do now is stamp our inside greeting and our beautiful shaker card is done. How easy, isn't that easy? I think it's easy. And I've got a couple other versions to show you here. So let's stamp the May you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season, which is just perfect. And you can see the shakers in there. Hopefully you can see that. Sorry about all the reflecting on my lights. <laughs> have to have lights or you can't see what I'm doing, but sometimes they are annoying about with the reflection. So that is our shaker card. And let's look at a couple others here. So this one is in process. I didn't get it quite done before I went live. Uh, let's grab this one. So this one, I actually used another pattern from the pack. It's one with snowflakes on basic gray. And not only did I do my cabin, but I also stamped the fox and cut out the fox so that I can do a layer, uh, you know, kind of have a snowy bank there in front. And then this one I do plan to, it's not, not put on yet, obviously, but I think I'll put that one on a basic gray card base. So that's another version. I haven't decided yet if I'll add a greeting to the front or not. Um, plus, I, you, you almost wouldn't have to. You could just do your inside sentiment, but uh, well, we'll see. And let's see. The other one I wanted to show you. Oh, yes, here it is. So this one I did with the Arctic Bears. And this is not... Uh, it is actually a different paper than this one. It is from the same package. This one has kind of clouds and then snowflakes and stars sprinkled about. Um, so they're very similar. So like I said, from this pack, there are many, many different ones that would work. There's also some beautiful uh, dark trees with a white background that would work. I think I've used all that paper up, so I can't show you that one, but um, that would also be lovely on this card. And uh, let's see got one more to show you. This was one I had made in a previous video that's here on my channel. Uh, this one is not a shaker card, but it is with the Peaceful Cabin. And uh, this one is a uh, gift card holder. So I got a great idea from uh, demonstrator Terry Gaines uh, to use the tailored tag punch as a gift card holder. And it just perfectly holds a gift card. So, um, so that's a different version. Now you certainly could make this one a gift card holder as well. So that is our shaker card uh, for this evening's video. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm going to just flip my camera around. There we go. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a wonderful Halloween. And uh, we'll see you uh, next Tuesday for the next uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube video. Have a great weekend. If you're not currently following my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you know when I go live next time. Take care, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye.